Hey everybody, I'm Tanya K. Welcome to my brand new Let's Play. I might go ahead and ditch it if it, deter if it turns out not to work well. So, wait, no. As you can see, this is Cosmo Forbidden Planet. <coughs> this is a really old, really old game. I played this in elementary school. And uh, just basic keyboarding. So here is um, B to begin new game. But uh, let's do the story first. Probably hard to read. Uh, tomorrow is Cosmo's birthday, and his parents are taking him to the one place in the Milky Way galaxy that all kids would love to go to. Disney World! Obviously, Disney World probably was endorsing this. Suddenly, a blazing comet zooms towards their ship, leaving no time to change course. Kapow! The comet slams into the ship and forces Cosmo's dad to make an emergency landing on an uncharted planet. While Cosmo's dad repairs the ship, Cosmo heads off to explore and have some fun. Um, if you can see at the top of the screen, it looks like Cosmo's dad is, um, balding. Returning an hour later, Cosmo cannot find his mom or dad. Instead, he finds strange footprints. Oh no! Has his family been taken away by a hungry alien creature to be eaten? Cosmo must rescue his parents before it's too late. <coughs> okay. So, as you can see, um, B, begin a new game. And as you can see, I am recording this with a camcorder. You probably are not going to be able to see it too well, which is probably going to be bad graphics. But, uh, yeah. But, um, I tried out my screen capture software, hoping it would either work just fine. <laughs> so when you get to a high place, you just look up and stars come. Um, hoping it would look just fine. Or it would be like Lego Racers, and it would be 75% of the screen. But apparently, no, the screen... Ah! Reminder, jump on top of the creatures to defend yourself. Like this. There we go. I call those oogly booglies. When I was 10 years old and playing this game with my best friend, Sarah, in Bloomington, Illinois, she called them oogly booglies. I continue to call them oogly booglies. All the fruit you gather, and they give you points. Whee! And as you can see, in the lower center of the screen is my health, and because I got hit, it has gone down. One, you can get hit three times, and these sparkly things are called molecules. Power up molecules increases Cosmo's health. So there you go. And this game seems very simple, because really all I'm doing is jumping. I'm hitting the control button to jump. Uh, later on, you will be using the alt button, but um, that doesn't come until the very end of the level. And... I have stars. If I'm in high places and I look up, usually some stars will jump down. Alright, I'm planning on being very thorough and getting all of the fruits because uh, you can be on the high score. <coughs> so, um, these levels are pretty short. Ah, yes! Um, so, in theory, I could probably do... Ah, damn it! You oogly boogly! In theory, I could probably do one or two levels in one video. But starting in level. Yes! Starting in level four, um, it actually. This game actually starts to get really hard. And I'm going to just see how things go. Damn it. I'm just going to see how things go with this capturing. 
Um, if it turns out to be not that bad, um, the way Buffy was when I did my Buffy LP, it was not that bad. If it turns out to be horrible and it's completely and totally unacceptable to use, then I will just scratch this entire project and figure something else out. I think what I might do is, I know people have done LPs of this before. So, um, I can, you know, try to contact them and be like, hey, what software did you use? I will die if I get hit one more time. So, basically, I have been planning this LP since even before Buffy. So, I pretty much am like, yes, money cool. So, I refuse to give up on this LP. And as you can see, I can look up and I can look down. So, I'm going to do whatever it takes. Sweet. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make this LP work. So, yeah. When I was 10 years old, I was going to a very, I was going to a private school, and it was very small. It was not the kind of private school where you... And look, you can grab onto the wall. And you just hit jump. You hit jump. And the um, right button to grab onto the wall. Pretty simple. So yes, um, there's a little something you know about me. I went to a private school from when I was 10 to... Can I get up there at all? I guess not. From when I was 10 to when I was 12, so... So, 5th grade, 6th um, grade, and 7th grade. This is a bomb. And you, these little poles, you set a bomb down, and then by hitting the alt button, then you kind of quickly run away. <coughs> and usually you get a bomb, but this just gives me a molecule. I think they was just like a little introduction to the bombs. Um, it was not the kind of private school where you, um, where kids are really smart and they wear uniforms. Um, It was the kind of private school where um, kids did not get along with, they didn't get along with other kids. Um, it was kind of like a last resort for troubled kids. And he just said, wow, 50,000 points. And that's the end of the first level, but it's only taken me eight minutes, so why don't we just keep going? I do want to save my game, though. No, that's not it. Sound talk goes on. Um, F1. Yes. Save your game. We'll just go ahead and save it under number one. It's pretty easy. Game saved. Press any key. Okay. Um, I know, that makes me sound like I was um, a juvenile delinquent ten-year-old. Yeah! But uh, the truth is, is um, when I was still in private school, in um, fourth grade, I, I don't know really what happened. I don't really remember a whole lot because I was nine and I guess I didn't think it was valid enough to keep in my memory banks. Oh, these things drop from the sky, those blue things, and you have to jump on them twice. Um, so anywho. Damn it. So, I don't really remember what happened. I remembered I really did not... These things are harmless. Harmless, harmless, harmless. However, if you drop a bomb on them, they will turn into... Well, I'll just show you. I'll just show you. There we go. Oh, no, that didn't work. Oh, I feel stupid now. Okay. Um, if you jump... or Yeah, they're harmless, but if you jump on them, they turn into this, like puddle of purple goo and then that will hurt you and you have to ah! 
this keyboard sticks a little. This is a, a old keyboard. I don't really use it a lot, and it sticks a little. So sometimes if I'm not walking anymore, it'll have, damn it, it'll have me keep walking. Um, yeah. So the only thing I really rem damn it. For example, man, keyboard is getting worse. It was never an issue before. It was always just kind of like. You know, something that, it was just a little thing that happened woo, every now and then. But now it's happening a lot more, and it's very annoying. Um, the only thing I really remember about fourth... Great. I'm going to die. The only thing I really remember about fourth grade is that... Is that um, I felt like my teacher didn't like me. And, oh, good molecule. And I just, I don't really remember even what she looks like. I just remember that I, she had short, curly brown hair and wee, it didn't work. How do I get up there then? And I thought she was mean and I thought she was kind of like, I thought she was out to get me. That was my, um, remembrance of my teacher, and then, um, I remember she, uh, wanted me to, my mom to come in and talk to me, or she wanted to talk to my mom, like, she called a conference with my mom, and, um, like, the only thing my mom said about the conference afterwards, because I was like, what happened? Like, I was nervous. I didn't know if I was in trouble or what. Um, she just, my mom just kind of said, like, I don't like her. I don't like that woman. And, um, and then I found out, um, shortly there later, um, because it was, like, a month later, it was at the end of school, um, the school year was over. Um, she, uh, my mom kind of just, like, had a conference, where, like, had, like, talk with me and told me that, um, the fourth grade teacher, my fourth grade teacher that I had, I have absolutely no idea what her name was, um, she guest told my mom that I was mentally retarded and I needed to be put into the, um, I'm not going to go down there and get those. Um, I needed to be put in the classes for, um, <coughs> like for the children with learning problems. I really want to go get that star, but I'm not going to risk it. So, um, my mom, you know, naturally, like any parent, my mom was like, you're crazy, there's nothing wrong with my child, if she was mentally retarded, damn it, I, you know, I would be aware, and, um, so, yeah, they, my mom pretty much put me in, um, yeah, so my mom pulled me out of school, and I could go down there and get that thingy, which gives me invincibility, but it's really that spinning thing down at the bottom, but it's really hard to get down there and not die, so I'm not going to do it. Well, I guess I could try to do it, I and mean, what the hell. Alright. Uh, let's go back and forth. This does not last forever. Oh, that was interesting. Um, so yeah. Lots of oogly booglies down there. Oh, this is fun. This is gonna, this is a little introduction to the third level, which is a lot of fun. Um, so, anywho. So my mom was like, I'm pulling you out of public school. They, like, my mom was like so unbelievably enraged. And I don't remember my dad having any, dis any part of this decision making. I guess my mom made all the decisions and my dad was just like, okay, whatever. I don't care. I'm going to work, honey. Because my dad was kind of absent for most of my childhood because he was at work all the time. Groovy, insane, gnarly, outrageous. Does that mean I get a bo I get a bonus stage?
Damn it. Here we go. And then I get to ride it all over again. Ah, damn it! That was stupid. Here we go. Well, at least I got a molecule. Ooh, sweet. I can do it again. I gotta jump off before I hit the top. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, and I killed a little snail. <sighs> so, yeah. So, um, I went to this private school for troubled kids. Because I guess I was troubled. I don't want to say troubled kids. It was more like for, I'm going to leave that molecule there. And I'm going to need it later on in this level, because this is a hard level. Um, I think, I just want to say it was, it was a school for misunderstood kids. And I really liked it, because the, the, there were only about a dozen kids in my class. And, you know, with only a dozen kids in your class, you got unbelievable one-on-one -on -one time with the teachers. And, yeah, I know it looks like I can climb these trees. And, technically, oh, those birds suck. I hate those birds. Um. Oh, shit. I was going to say, I'm going to climb this tree later, but. Shit. I'm going to blow that up because that thing shoots out the blues. They just take three jumps. And it was a lot of fun. Um, I made some friends. Damn it. Okay. New strategy. Just avoid. Just avoid the birds. That said, some creatures require more than one pounce to defeat. Um... It was, it was fun, and um, I'm Facebook friends with a couple of those people, but I haven't talked to any of them in years because that was a long time ago. But anyways, when we moved, we moved back upstate, so I went to public junior high, and um, my mom was like, ah! Um, my mom said that, um, yes, um, my mom was like, you know, hey, you remember when, you know, that teacher said that you had a learning disability? And I was like, not really, because I didn't really remember it, but she's like, well, um, I'm going to get your IQ tested before you go into public junior high to see if that, um, to make sure that, um, we can place you in eighth grade and you're where you're supposed to be with the rest of your peers in your age group. And I was just like, okay. And it was really long and annoying. It was, uh, really long and annoying. It was like a five-hour test. It was so long that we actually had like a lunch break like that's how long it was um as you can see those birds suck ass alfred hitchcock was right about the birds and um i was like okay and it was really long and it was boring but when the test results eventually came back my iq um was actually higher than normal. It was, um, it was above average. It was not genius level, but it was above average. It was in between, um, genius level and 
It was it was it was in between like average and genius level. Shit. No. My keyboard screwed up. Yes. Okay. Oh, great. There's going to be a bird. And if I get hit again, I will die. But yeah, this was a secret. This is the only time you get a scooter. And there's a lot of birds I did ever killed, so... Um, it's worrisome. But there is a molecule. And there's a whole bunch of stars up in the trees. But of course there's the birds. And they actually follow you from one point to the other. So if you can, like, stay ahead of them and keep moving, as long as you don't, um, stop and... Oops! I hit the wrong button. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, everybody. Ah, uh, I got hurt. So anyways, the point of that little story... Shit. The point of that story was that I went to a small... I went to school for kids, and I got a lot of more attention, and we got, um, we got two hours out of the day, out of the school day, to pretty much do whatever the hell we wanted, which was really cool. Um, we got the free hour, which, obviously, we could do whatever we wanted. We could read, we could write, we could, um... Uh, usually there were three computers, and this was in 1994, 95, this was 1994, 1995, 1996, 1997, 1998, I was in this school. Um, so computers were still pretty much a new thing, we didn't get internet in the school until the last year I was there. Um, so there were three computers, and they had Wolfenstein... Cosmo, which we're playing right now, and Jetpack. Jetpack, I really want to find and do an LP of. Wolfenstein, I really want to find and do an LP of. I'm actually still playing that game. I haven't beaten it yet. I've been playing it on and off for probably the last five years. But these are all games that I really want to do an LP of. <coughs> I'm just trying to fix the lighting. Um... So, like I said, we had two free hours. One, we could do whatever we, want, we wanted. And the second one was called um, Activity Hour. And we got to pick an activity. Um, it could be swimming. It could be rollerblading. It could be arts and crafts. It could be cooking. It could be sewing. There were like 20 different activities to choose from, and you would go and do that um, for one hour. I think it was three days a week, and it was a lot of fun. I did swimming. I did rollerblading. Um, I did basketball because um, the activities changed like every month, I think. It was a lot of fun. And so this is where I started playing that game. And then I haven't played this game again until I downloaded it about three or four years ago. So I know I'm doing this with a camcorder, so the quality is bad. But um, I really hope... But I'm going to make this work no matter what. Even if I end up having to buy the Fraps pro program, I'm going to make this work. So... So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and post this and see if there's anything, and see if it's worthwhile. I've been Tanya Kay. 
thank you so much for joining me. Um, one last note I want to give off really fast is that, come on, okay, this is, why won't it let me save my game? There we go. Save your game. Number one. Game save. Um, I'm going to try to, uh, I will make this LP work, and I played this game before with my buddy GCF Church, and I asked him if he would come on and guest star with me on an LP, and he said he would, which is awesome, and this is the game I want to guest star LP with him. So, thank you so much for watching. I've been Tenya K. This has been Cosmo's Adventure. Cosmos Adventures of Forbidden Planet. And, um, I'm just going to throw this up, and if it's received horribly because of the, um, because of the, um, because of the quality with the lighting and everything, then I'm just going to go ahead and scrap the whole thing and figure out another way. And, yeah. It'll, I'll put it on the back burner until I figure something out or if you guys don't care and you want me to keep going this way then I'll keep going this way um, but I will try to figure something out but um okay guys thank you so much for joining me I've been Tenya K this has been Cosmos Adventures the Forbidden Planet